And welcome to today's Ask the Expert. I'm Nicole Allshouse, joined by Dr. Dana Walchuk with Hearing Solutions. And doctor, here it is, the new year. What do we need to know at home when it comes to audiology in 2023? Well, the main thing we want our viewers at home to know is as of January 1, that Medicare has a new rule that allows you to have direct access to audiology services without having a referral from a primary care or another specialist. So this is huge for patients. It know. is huge for patients. We can get to early intervention a little sooner. It's gonna cut out at least one more step to getting to another physician before they can come in and have services done. Efficient, I like it, yes. I like it, like it. What about uh, Awareness Month for February? What are we, what are we paying attention to? So February, uh, we had Tinnitus Awareness Month. Uh, that is one of the number one questions I get is how is it's pronounced? And it is tinnitus, not tinnitus. Uh, <laughs> Uh, that is the, uh, most people want to know what is tinnitus, and that is the perception of sound when there's actually not a sound present in the room. So you're going to get this from someone who's had a lot of noise exposure over the years. Uh, this can be from industrial noise, it can be from military noise. Um, there's a lot of different aspects of it, so we want to kind of narrow that down, find out what the cause of it is, and then we can move forward with treatment. At Hearing Solutions, what is that treatment? That treatment can range from anything from having some wax removed that is actually uh, on the eardrum. Uh, it can be uh, something as simple as just aiding it or giving us a little noise in the room using a tinnitus masker that helps people sleep. Uh, there's just, there are a number of things. We just need to find the source as to why you're having the ringing. There are times that it is more uh, closely related to something more serious and we want to rule that out first. So if we see that there is something that we need cardiology involved or primary care, we'll make that referral and then we'll deal and find the right solution for that tinnitus.